Let's talk about this weekend, right? We got Colin Kennedy here from 247, Soon as Illustrated. The man is literally everywhere. Hardest working dude in the industry, I promise you that. And I will definitely put money down the table in that assessment. And this weekend, the Sooners have the Future Freaks, right? So you've got your, I know you put out your list this morning on Sooner Illustrated. Go subscribe. You can go check that out. See the full list of uh, players coming through. And I was looking through some, I've seen some of the social media posts and I'm just kind of curious on that for the the juniors becoming seniors that it should, it can be part of the 25 class who on there makes you say Oklahoma's gotta have a great show in this weekend to get them signed or at least get them out for the June. What's that? The barbecue that they do in June, as well as in July, who, who yeah. give me a couple guys that jump out. I'll throw two names out there um, because there is a third one that, is being floated right now that I put in the updated list for context folks. Like I usually put in an initial visitors list that I'm able to collect. And then usually the day before the night before I'll put in an updated list. And just this morning I added well over double digit names. And so there's a 2025 on this list who's being floated my direction that I don't have fully confirmed, but Oklahoma is at least considering and expecting a potential visit this weekend. But kind of the two that jump out to me who have long been known to be arriving this weekend, Amarian Robinson and Trent Wilson, right? And we're talking about a couple of players on the defensive side of the ball. I'll start with Trent because I think to me he's the one that really makes a lot of sense Mm -hmm. as it relates to your specific question. Because what you asked me was, who does OU need to kill it with in the 2025 class to even at least try and get them back for an official? let alone yep. some some sort of commitment. Yep. I look at Trent Wilson right now, and I say, if this visit doesn't go well, are you even seeing this kid back in Norman again? You know, and for people who don't know, Trent Wilson, a lot of Penn State smoke. A lot of Penn State smoke there for a while. He's a big-time Big Ten kind of kid, plays mm-hmm. defensive tackle, and you know all the familiar faces out there, kind of in the Midwest to the, the East Coast, are going to be involved with him. And here's Oklahoma out in the very true South Central region, somehow trying to punch it out with the Penn States who usually try and end up getting these kids. Yep. And I think the other part of this equation, too, and why it's so important as it relates to your question, defensive tackle for Oklahoma in 2025 is the most fascinating position group of it all, in my opinion. Why is that? Outside of Kamori Moore, who are they going to get? Who are, who are you 100% sold on their landing right now? I don't know if there's a single other one. You know, there isn't. And like another example of this, it, he isn't on this list, but Cole Breeler, there are a lot of big name, big 10 programs involved with Cole Breeler pretty heavily. You, you're 100% convincing me today that he's an Oklahoma Sooner. <sighs> I there's so much smoke there, but I still don't. I there's nothing about that that makes me feel confident. It's him and Landon Rink are the two that I'm hearing the most smoke on, and I'm not confident on either. I'm not confident on Landon because due to Texas legacy, I mean, we saw that with Colton Vasek. Now it could be a completely different situation since Bo Davis bounced, and it seems like that Texas D line recruiting is in flux because Bo left to go to LSU in which they got Dominic McKinley because of it. Makes sense. But at the same time, like you said, my confidence level is I'll believe it when I see it type deal. Right. And that's, and that's what it kind of looks like for Trent Wilson right now. And so this is a really big visit when you talk about the state of that recruitment, the position, when we talk about premium positions as it relates to the move of the SEC or just football in general. I mean, he's an interior mm-hmm. defensive lineman that you're going after in a recruiting region that's hard to go to bat in. And so yep. him arriving on campus this weekend to me is huge. Then you look at Marion Robinson. This to me is the other safety that Oklahoma really wants in the class. And if you missed it, if you're a VIP subscriber at Sooners Illustrated, you know exactly what I'm going to bring up. I literally went position by position. I'm Mm -hmm. talking like preferred walk-ons and kickers all the way (laughs) to five-star safeties and was like, here's what the board's kind of looking like right now for Oklahoma. 
And a Marion Robinson, when I mentioned in the safety portion of the series, I really don't see Oklahoma taking a ton of safeties in this cycle because, as mm-hmm. we know, scholarships are tight as things currently stand. Not to say that can't change, but right now, like, OU probably is taking roughly two safeties. And that makes sense. A Marion Robinson, probably a prime candidate to be one alongside maybe another name a lot of folks really know. And so a Marion Robinson, him getting into town, also securing an official visit already. This to me kind of looks like the last two dominoes to fall before you get the result you want if you're Oklahoma staff. And look, it's no secret. Maybe the two states in America, maybe the two states in America where there's most pressure to commit to the in-state school, Louisiana, LSU, and Arkansas with the Razorbacks. Folks who have followed my coverage for a long time know I go out to Little Rock, Arkansas, and I meet with like 150 Arkansas recruits basically every year, sometimes twice a year. And I'm here to tell you every time I go out there, all I see, Razorback t-shirts. Yep. It's it's hard to pull from the state of Arkansas, man. And right now, OU is positioned to potentially pull a Marion Robinson from Arkansas. Kind of the last effort that has to go into that concept takes place this upcoming weekend whenever he arrives. And so I'm keeping a close eye on the defensive back out of uh, Parkview Magnet High School. 